All right, welcome back. This is Mr. Cisneros. In the last video, we set it up so that we could have our master template uh, in our Google Drive. Now I'm going to show you how to open that up and set it up for our speaker box. Um, we actually did even save. We saved a speaker box drawing file in our speaker box folder. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and start opening right now. So I'm going to go to open. And I'm going to click on speaker box. Remember, this is our master template. This will always be blank. If we want to start a new project, say we wanted to have our fling machine on a working drawing, we would start by opening this up, putting our fling machine parts in there, and then doing a file save as to rename it. And um, that way, this is always left as a master template, and it's always, by default, blank. So here we go. I'm going to go into my speaker box folder and I'm going to look for that IDW. We can see that there's like these little pictures. This blue cube, that's an IPT. Uh, blue cube plus two other cubes, that is an assembly file. Uh, this, where it kind of looks like the cylinders coming out of a part, that's going to be our presentation. And then this one, where you can see that there's three different shapes on a piece of paper, that's going to be our drawing file. So I'm going to double click this drawing file. Again, we created this in the last video. Please, uh, if you don't have this, watch the previous video. I'm going to double click that, open it up. All right, and it is opened. Over here on the left hand side, um, you'll see that there's something called sheet. We only have one of them. But we can add new sheets anytime we want by pressing this button. And I think that's what we'll do to start. We'll do this, um, let's say, three times. So we'll click OK, click OK, click OK. Um, and let's just do one more, just in case. So we'll do a total of five sheets. All right. Um, here's a little tip. If you see that your sheet is like a white instead of grayed out like these four, that means that that's the sheet that you're inside of. That's the one that you're viewing right here in your window. If I double click the little picture next to where it says sheet one, it'll jump me. You can see now that turns white. Everything else is grayed out. Now I'm in sheet one. If I double click this one, now I'm in sheet two. And now I'm back in sheet one. You can also tell over here. You can see that you're in number one of five. All right. So what are we going to do with these sheets? Well, we're going to import our different things that we've modeled. We've modeled out um, three different IPTs. We've modeled out an assembly. We've modeled out a presentation file. So we're going to start putting those things into this drawing file to be uh, able to better communicate our design. So what I'm going to do um, to start on my sheet one, my sheet one, I actually don't want this title block on there. I just want a blank piece of paper. So um, before you do this step, please make sure you have added two, three, four, and five, right? Make sure you've added your sheets. So I'm in sheet one. Make sure you double click on it. You're inside of sheet one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the plus sign next to sheet one. And then we can see that my border is inside of this, as well as the title block, the custom title block, which is right here. It says Schomburg High School, has our class name on it. We want to delete those just to start. So I'm going to go and right click. Um, you know what? Maybe the border we can keep. The, bor the border might help us out, but the title block we definitely don't want. So I'm going to right click and delete that. There we go. And now, like, even if we go to sheet two, the title block is still there. So that's okay. Just sheet one is the one that we want to delete. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place my project. My title cover page will be the whole project completed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to base. This is how we place views. You can, you can even see the tab is called place views. And I'm going to click on base. 
and it's going to ask me, Inventor is going to ask me, okay, what do you want to place? Well, I have to go look for it. I'm going to click on open an existing file, and I should be in my speaker box folder if you're not, navigate to it. And I'm going to click on my assembly. Remember, the assembly is this one where it has three blocks put together. I called mine initials underscore speaker box. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click open. And there it is. We can see that it's placed. I don't want to place a front, top, right side view. I want to place an isometric view. So I'm going to click on this right hand corner. And I'm a little confused because I thought I had added material to this. Um, so we might have to go back and do that if mine didn't save. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the corner there. You can see it turned it into like a 3D view. That's an isometric. Um, but this seems a little bit small to me. You can see that the scale is kind of set by default. What happens if we change this to a quarter scale? Is it goes a little bit bigger? Okay, um, we might be able to go up a little bit bigger. So the scale, we might be able to do one half. Okay, um, I want to put text underneath here. So that seems a little too big. So let's stick with one fourth quarter scale. And then I'm going to click OK. Um, you can see that it started looking gray, but now it um, has no color to it. Let's go ahead and change that. Let's make it so the color does show. I'm going to double click this. Um, this is actually a little bit weird. Um, if, you know, if I hover over one of these lines, you can see that I can't really get that red dotted line box. Uh, you want to see that red dotted line when you double click. So like right here, this would be good. And double click. It selects it, gives me the settings back here. Under style, there are some options. We can do hidden lines. We can have hidden lines removed, which is set. That's okay. And then right here, which is not selected, is shaded. If you click that, it won't show up here, but it actually will once you click OK. So you can see it's highlighted blue. That means it's selected. If I click OK, there it goes. There there's the color, but also the texture. The material is, in fact, wood, so that's good. Um, if I want to move this up a little bit, I can. I just have to hover over that red box, click and drag, and I can move this up. All right, um, next I'm going to go ahead and add some text. So that is in the Annotate tab. I'm going to click Annotate. I'm going to click Text. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to start drawing a rectangle from the top left corner, about right here, um, and then drag it over this way. And here I'm going to type a couple of things. I'm going to call this. I'm going to. I'm going to call this speaker box project. I'm going to put in. Um, Schaumburg High School. I'm going to put in introduction to engineering design. And then I'll put my name. And maybe even the year. All right. Now I want to highlight all of this and I want to make it bigger. I'm going to change this to 2 point, uh, 0.24. I'm also going to go over here and center my text. So I'm going to go ahead and change my font right here. And I'm going to change it to, let's see, this one. How about that? Franklin Gothic Medium. If you prefer a different font, go ahead and choose it, but this is the one that I'm going to pick. I'm going to click OK. And then right there, we have our cover page for our project. And it's Speaker Box Project, Schomburg High School, Introduction to Engineering Design, Your Name, and the Year. That's going to be Sheet 1. All right, and let's go to Sheet 2 now. Um, you can see my cursor is a little weird. That's because I still have the text selected. If you ever want to get out of a tool um, like this, we have this selected, you don't want this to be selected anymore, you can do a right click, cancel, or you can hit escape on your keyboard. Either of those work. 
Uh, now I'm going to go to sheet two here. And in sheet two, uh, we're going to start placing some different uh, things here. I'm going to go and place my assembly again. So the speaker box assembly. That is this one. Click open. And here I want to place all of the different views that we have. So I think it should fit quarter scale. Um, this time I am going to put my front view in here. So I'm going to put my front view right in the middle. And check this out. I'm going to drag up. Um, and I'm going to click here. I'm going to go over to the right. Click here. I'm going to go down. Click over to the left click and even maybe on the top right I can click I don't know if it's gonna fit probably not um, let's see maybe we can change this to a sixth scale one sixth so we can make it fit a little bit better yeah that's gonna be better so we can type one slash six and then click OK so those are placed in there I'm gonna grab the first view that I put, which is the front view. And check this out. If I click and drag this, my other views follow it. Okay. I'm going to click and drag this a little bit closer. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. I'm going to bring this one inside of the border. And we can see that we have not only our orthographic projections of our full assembly, we also have an isometric view of our assembly. I'm going to go ahead and double click this one and I'm going to make this one shaded. I'm going to click OK. And there it is. I think that it will be it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you what we're going to do with the next three views or the next three sheets. All right, we'll see you in the next one.